At the end of 1993, Frank Bruno is trying to make a comeback to the top of the heavyweight division after a devastating defeat at the hands of Mike Tyson. The uppercut lands a big right hand. Bruno's in big trouble now. He's ready to go. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped the fight. After a relatively impressive streak of four knockout victories, it seems that Frank has regained his confidence. How are you feeling today? Very fine. Everything's going like a jigsaw puzzle. The jigsaw puzzle should be finished tonight when I get in the ring, mate. Very, very confident, very relaxed, very chilled, mate. Very relaxed. You can see where the fans are going for tonight, and I'm very chilled, very relaxed. Last message for Lennox. I'm going to knock him out so hard he's got to pay to get back in. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. World heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis was defending his title for the second time while Bruno was presented with his third chance to become a champion. He said he's going to hit you so hard he's going to send you back to Canada. I'm very, I'm not a very nice thing to say, but... Well, he's trying to scare me, but I can't be faded. I think the main thing is, if I'm there to get hit, then he'll hit me. But I'm not there gonna, I'm not gonna be there to get hit. It was the first ever bout between British boxers for a world title, although Bruno questioned Lewis's British citizenship, citing that Lennox won Olympic gold in 1988 representing Canada. To counter the Bruno claim that he was not British, Lewis said, what was I supposed to do? Not follow my mother to Canada? Look, I fought more British fighters than that guy has. He makes a fool of himself, dressing up in girls' clothing on television. Lewis called Bruno an Uncle Tom. Frank, you will be knocked out, fight mate. You will leave your feet. We'll put you to sleep. I may even bring a pillow to ringside for you. Big boy, you go it. You in what? Fall. You will fall. After a series of exchanges, the fight between Lennox Lewis and Frank Bruno, known as the Battle of Britain, took place on October 1st, 1993, in Cardiff. Oh, big shot. The with great hand speed. From the first seconds of the fight, Bruno charged forward, playing the aggressor. The crowd fervently supported Bruno. Towards the end of the second round, Bruno landed a double to Lewis's jaw. Lewis staggered but stayed on his feet. Bruno rushed to finish him off, but Lewis managed to clinch. And he's taken the fight to Lennox Variance on his side. Good defense and came pretty elusive. Good shots from Bruno. Towards the end of the round, the situation repeated, with Bruno shaking Lewis again, but Lewis started to tie him up and hit him with one hand to the back of the head, earning a warning. For Bruno. And the two of them there clubbing away and Mickey... At the start of the third round, Bruno once again shook Lewis, almost knocking him down, but Lewis miraculously stayed on his feet. It's close. Lewis reacted when Bruno landed with one of his big shots. taking the fall. There's the double jab in the right hand. And Lewis... Throughout the round, Bruno rattled Lewis with powerful and precise hits. He didn't go down. The success because he's using his strength, he's forcing the fight, and he's using a very good jab. And he was caught by that right hand of Bruno's. Only in the fourth round did Lewis win with a slight advantage due to his speed, movement, and avoidance of close combat. And this is a good performance from him so far. So far, very good performance. With a big Lewis looking to get in the last 30 seconds a bit more. Let everybody know that he is... But when people a sign that they're not entirely comfortable with things. However, in the fifth round, Bruno again seriously shook Lewis. From the champion, but he needs more of that. And every time he does land, Bruno... And he let Lennox start using that jab a bit, and Lennox threw some good shots. But Frank came back, as we see here, this, over, this overhand right. 
a club and uh, punch. Round behind his neck. Very close. Both men giving it everything. But Lewis is having some tough moments. But so far, Frank Reynolds. His jab is working. Although great. Lewis managed to shake Bruno once, Bruno still looked better in this round. Good shots from Lewis. Beautiful jab. But that was a, a good combination there from Lennox. That was Both boxers had hematomas above their left eye by the sixth round. In the sixth round, a brawl broke out in which Lewis looked slightly better. The pace a little bit. Many thought Lewis wouldn't pass this test and his championship was coming to an end. However, in the second half of the fight, Lewis managed to turn the tide in his favor. Bruno is so hungry for this and he's making Lewis work. So in the seventh round, another brawl broke out. Bruno cornered Lewis and, getting carried away with the attack, dropped his hands. We have an expert counting the punches as they are added. The one thing's for sure, this certainly is a great heavyweight title fight. Lewis landed a left cross, then a right cross. Bruno went into a groggy state. Look at Bruno here, coming up from the left hook, catches him, and Bruno was hurt by that. Bruno, that's where France got the success, and there it is, that's right it. on the chin. Lewis continued to land series of punches, and while Bruno didn't fall, he was no longer able to continue the fight. The referee intervened and stopped the fight. At the time of the fight stoppage, two out of three judges had an even score on their cards, and the third scored 59 to 55 in favor of Bruno. The match was tough, and yet, Lewis defended his title in the seventh round of the fight. After the fight, Lennox stated, Bruno did his job, neutralizing my right punch, but he must have forgotten that I have a tremendous left hook. In the end, Frank Bruno managed to become a world champion in the same version. Two years after this fight, he defeated Oliver McCall, who had previously sensationally knocked out Lewis himself. But that's a whole different story.